In the early days of products liability law, courts were careful to limit a manufacturer's liability to those parties the manufacturer dealt with directly. This was accomplished by the privity of contract requirement, meaning that liability ran only to those parties with whom the manufacturer had a contract. But courts also recognized exceptions to this rule, as in Thomas v. Winchester. Winchester manufactured and sold medicinal plant extracts. Winchester also sold extracts made by others with the same labeling he used for his own products. Winchester sold a jar labeled as dandelion extract to Aspinwall, a druggist. Aspinwall sold the jar to Dr. Ford, a druggist and physician. Samuel Thomas purchased the jar from Ford for his wife, Mary Ann. Mary Ann was feeling unwell, and her doctor had prescribed a dose of dandelion extract. Unbeknownst to anyone, the jar actually contained poisonous belladonna extract. When Mary Ann consumed some of its contents, she became very ill and nearly died. The Thomases sued Winchester, alleging negligence. Winchester moved to dismiss, arguing that he couldn't be liable because he was a remote vendor of the product and not in privity of contract with the Thomases. The trial court denied the motion, and the jury returned a verdict for the Thomases. Winchester appealed to the New York Court of Appeals. 